All right, so there's 32 guns in Black Ops 1 Zombies, and right here, I have a spreadsheet of every single one. There's the starting pistol, nine wall guns, and 22 weapons available in the mystery box to be pack-a-punched. I'm gonna jump into Keanu Der Toten and see if I can pack-a-punch every single gun in the game. This video is sponsored by the subscribe button. I don't know if you've noticed lately, but we're getting insanely close to 100,000 subscribers, and honestly, it would mean the world to me if you hit that little red button and make that number just just a little bit closer to 100k. All right, let's do this. Low key and utter toten. It's been a while since I've just sat back and tried to reach a high round on key and toten. It's not a map I play every day, especially in recent years. But yeah, this should be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. This challenge, like this is not going to be easy. Even on a notoriously easier zombies map like key and toten, this is not going to be easy whatsoever. So I need to focus up here just a little bit. There we go. You got to hit these little rocks every time you play keto no matter what it's the only map you got to do the musical easter egg no matter what the situation is also i need to remember to not accidentally trade in this 1911 if i do that i gotta restart I'm not trying to do that obviously if i trade it in there's no way to get it back anything else it's fair game um oh shit ow no. End of the round double points is literally the worst possible thing imaginable. You know what? Actually, I'm going to stay in the spawn and grab an M14. I'm going to have to pack a bunch of these spawn room guns anyways. So might as well start with the M14, I guess. Dude, what a waste of a double points. The one thing I need in this game the most is going to be points. And I needed to utilize every single double points towards the end of this challenge. I, I don't even want to think about towards the end of this challenge whenever I have to spin the mystery box over over and over and over again to try to get good RNG. It's not really something I want to think about. Not gonna lie. Alright, 3300. Let's see how far I can get with 3300. See, ordinarily, in a normal game of zombies, I would buy this MP40 off the wall, throw this M1911 away, because it's completely useless, let's be honest. But, of course, I gotta keep it. I gotta lug it around with me, at least until I can actually pack a bunch of it. The 1911 is just so useless on maps without PhD flopper. Like, there's no good upside to it. Okay, round four, zombies are starting to come in from everywhere. Carpenter, oh, okay. This M14 is okay for now, but honestly, maybe I shouldn't have bought it. Maybe I should have pack a punch it later when I had like a little bit better of a setup guy. Cause I'm gonna need to get the points to pack a punch both of these guns, pretty much only relying on the M14. I don't know, it'll be fun. Let's initiate the pad. Let's go hit this, and then I am completely out of ammo. I need to buy some. Beware of the six. I got you, brother. So I've been standing on this stage for probably 90 seconds, two minutes. I don't know where the zombie is, but I feel like if I run to go find him, I'm gonna just make it worse. Bro, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Dude, speed it up. We got places to be. Try to think of what perks to get. Like, obviously, like, double tap would be really good. But if I get double tap, mule kick, quick revive, and jug, obviously, then I can't get speed cola. Is that really what I have to do? Do I have to no speed cola this? I don't know. But what I do know is Nova Crawlers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nova colors are so ass. Dude, I should probably buy a jug. As little as I want to right now. As little as I want to. I feel like I feel like it would be pretty smart to buy a jug. Uh, wait a second. Actually, you know what? The order I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pack the M14 and then jug. Maybe that's a little bit of a risk, but I think it's worth it. I'm tired of running out of ammo for this thing. Like, it's not worth me keeping it. Use the 1911 a little bit. Get my points up. I just need 5k. Okay. Uh, dude, all these crawlers are so ass. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hurry this process up. Let's hurry this process up. Okay, there's 5k. Come on. Come on. Don't die. Don't die. Oh god. M14. First gun. Cross it off. There's one of 32. This Hopefully this is a sound investment. I won't have to keep like running around to get ammo. God, they really make you sit up here for a while. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where are the reels? Where are the reels? I don't know. 
Alright, uh, next purchase, quick revive, just in case my decision to pack a punch before drug was a bad one, and I end up going down here. Something I never really paid attention to in zombies as much as other people do is pack a punch names for guns. This one is called the Amnesia, which is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hellhound Realm should be relatively easy, even without drug. Don't think it's too much of a sweat. Now, what of War Hellhounds are a different story. That shit I would not want to go near. But these dudes, these dudes are weak, weak little puppies compared to the what a war ones. Where's the box, by the way? The box is, how do I read this? Oh, it's it's right there. Okay, cool. Forgot how to read the Kino map for a second. What's the smartest way to do this? To save the wall guns for last so that way you don't have to worry about it? Or to... Oh, shoot. Or to do them right away. Because obviously, like, the mystery box guns are going to be the worst ones. I'm going to end up needing to spin the box a bunch. Okay, I have enough points for Jug now. I just need to get over there. Just need to get over there with these crawlers. God damn. Get away from me. Go back to where you belong. Give me this. Okay, I finally feel safe. Round nine and I finally feel safe. Mule kick is a must have. So I think I go mule kick double tap. I think I might just play through a bunch of rounds first. Just really, uh, really get points up. Because obviously it takes like a, a decent amount of time to pack a punch. And so I think it's better to try to always pack a punch two guns at once. It's kind of inefficient to only pack one at once. I'm done. Oh my god. I don't know why I decided to run that way. I am out of ammo for the M4. Oh! I'm gonna need a gun for this round. And obviously I can't trade the 1911. So I gotta trade the M14 in. Just kinda ass. This shit is actually pretty decent. Um, just cause it's right here, I'm gonna go for the M16. Give me my next gun. Hopefully this is good. Double points. I'll take it. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Okay. I wouldn't mind having 10k. Oh shit. By the end of this round, pack a bunch of two different guns. Okay, uh, I got 9,700. That's pretty close. Next round we go. Oh, 9,900. I was literally 100 off. Next round we go. It's fine. Oh, it's a Hellhound round. Why are you doing this to me, Hellhound? God, this M16 is not that good. This M16 is kind of ass. Why does it take so many bursts? Like, why is it so bad? Okay, I have 10k. I have 10k. Let's just go now. I probably should have linked the teleporter earlier. Here we go. Let's get out of here. All right. Uh, 1911, chalk that one off. That's two. And then M16, it's three weapons done. 29 more to go. I have a feeling I'm going to accidentally kill myself with this 1911. I don't think I'm going to be using these for very long. I mean, these are really good. If I, if I had PhD flopper right now, I'd be all about this. I just don't trust myself. It's cool that the M16 becomes automatic when you pack a punch it. Makes it a much more usable weapon. Oh, Burst weapons are historically not good for zombies. I mean, think about it. It's three bullets guaranteed that you're wasting whenever you use the burst. Pretty much every game up until Cold War, when, you know, ammo kind of doesn't really matter in Cold War, pretty much every game up to that, burst weapons are just by default the worst weapons you can get. Unless, of course, when you pack a punch it, it becomes automatic, like the Skull Crusher here. Another weird thing about the M16 pack a punch is it has like an alternate ammo grenade launcher. Oh, shit. Oh, God. That, again, not something you want to use without PhD Flopper. I'm not going to be using that for anymore. Let's do Speed Cola. Oh, wait, I wasn't going to buy Speed Cola. No, wait, I was going to buy Double Tap. My brain turned off. Why did my brain turn off? Dude, I'm going to need Mule Kick. Okay, fine. My whole grand scheme was to go Double Tap Mule Kick. And then I just like walk up to Speed Cola, saw its pretty green light and just like bought it without thinking. I'm so stupid. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm almost out of ammo in this m60 um i think it'd be smarter though to rather than buy ammo for it to actually just trade it in oh never mind i don't need to yet big okay at the end of this round i'll go i'll go start for mystery box weapons that makes makes the most sense Oh, yeah, stupid Nova crawler. Okay, is it last? Isn't it smart to like not open that door? I'm gonna keep that door shut. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm gonna keep it shut. Let's go this way to get to the box. Dude, I wish I could have double tap. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Give me something good. Give me something good. Crossbow. That's definitely good. I kind of don't want it yet though. I would honestly rather save it for later and pack a punch it later. But I'm definitely not going to trade it in. Because there's always a chance that I would like trade it in and then, you know, get unlucky and not get it back. 
Oh shit. Oh shoot. I need to stop shooting the crossbow. I don't know what it's gonna take me to learn the lesson. Explosive weapons are a no-go. It's not worth the risk. I'm completely out of ammo. Let's go this. Now I pretty much don't have any weapons to actually kill zombies. Oh, give me. But I got the pea shooter to get my points up. Yeah, MP5K. Doing good work versus these crawlers. I need one more, one more weapon here. Trade these 1911s in for something. G11, fair enough. Okay, these are the next three weapons, so I'm gonna need 15k to pack a punch all three of them. Oh, and of course it's a dog round. It's funny, because in, like, the regular game, like, if I was playing regularly, dog rounds are obviously welcomed. Basically a free round, free max ammo. But in this, it's just, like, such a waste of a round. I can't get points on it, you know? Whose bright idea was it to put this stupid peace sign and this ugly-ass scope on the G11? Whose idea was that? Whichever dev working at Treyarch in what 2010 decided to do that i'd like to have a word with you i'd like to file a complaint i gotta rely on this mp5 it's not very good at actually killing but it is good at getting points and actually letting me run around i'm actually pretty mobile with it i'm gonna go now i can only pack a bunch two weapons but it's gonna be worth it just so i could actually kill next round i feel like it would maximize efficiency if i killed the last zombie as i go to teleport there we go. Let's think. Let's do G11 to cross that one off the list, and let's do the crossbow. That way, I, if I need it, I can buy ammo for the MP5K. Oh my God! It's their film film reels. Let's go. We're doing Easter eggs out here. G11, another gun, comes automatic when you pack a bunch of it. Makes it much more unbearable, much more bearable, I should say. And the awful Newton, absolutely god tier weapon, absolutely crazy with the monkey bomb effect. This crossbow used to be so good if you wanted to like revive your friend or something. You would just shoot somewhere, keep the zombies off of you and revive. I think it's the first ever weapon, like actual gun that had the monkey bomb effect, right? It has to be, it has to be the first. There was definitely none in World of War. Unfortunately though, this G11 one pack of punch, we still got the ugly ass looking peace sign. Um, makes me want to throw up. I have to put my hand over my mouth so I don't accidentally throw up all over my computer's Screen. At least it has the potential to kill. I'm out of ammo on this. Wait, I did not play this smart. I should have probably bought more guns at the end of that last round. I wasn't really thinking. Considering I just packed a bunch, I didn't, didn't realize I'd be out of ammo this quick. It's fine. I could just use this crossbow. Carpenter? Nobody wants that. That's what I want. Honestly, I'm probably going to keep this crossbow for the whole game, or at least until I get the thunder gun. Just to have that, like, good weapon by your side to, like, kind of get you out of, sit or, like, shitty situations. So useful. Real, real game changer. Okay, crawlers. Dude. I've spent more time shooting the ground at these stupid Nova crawlers than I have at actual zombies. I, I swear, they're just everywhere. Non-stop tomfoolery from those guys. Okay, I just want one gun to trade this G11 for. Galil? I'm getting all the good guns right away. Everybody loves a Galil. Literally the most iconic assault rifle in Call of Duty Zombies history. Of course, it becomes the lamentation when you pack a bunch of everybody. Everybody already knows that. I don't even need to talk about it. And then MP5K becomes the MP115 Collider. Okay, I'm progressing. We're seven guns into this shit, boys. Oh yeah, let's put the... Put the uh, film in the projector. Can't forget to do that. Oh my god, look at that. I'm like a professional Easter egger. Crazy. Doggy round right away. I did not realize that dogs are this chunky in Black Ops 1. Like, they're not scared. Like, you can't really go down to them like you can in World of War. But they just have an unnecessary amount of HP, I feel. What is this reticle supposed to be? Is it like a brain? Is it like a, a CT scan or some shit? Or am I just overthinking it and it's just a, just a cool design? I'm only gonna get to use the lamentation for one round, which is very sad. Like I said, one of my favorite guns of all time when i think of iconic call of duty zombies guns obviously you think of like the ppsh but then like right after at least me i think of black ops 1 galil and i guess black ops 2 you know they, they brought it back they made it the exact same oh shit there's a zombie behind me oh my god i was trying to back up for like the longest time and it wasn't letting me and i was confused turns out there's a zombie dude this mp oh god this MP5, okay. This is this is what you call a pea shooter. Like utterly garbage, straight trash. All right, uh, two more guns. Like I said, I'm gonna keep the crossbow for a while. Commando, sure. Then I wouldn't mind getting a teddy bear to move the mystery box from the shitty location. China Lake. I I'm not complaining getting this shit 
out of the way. You know, I'm, I'm gonna have to pack a bunch of China Lake at some point. Might as well be now. What is this shit even called when you pack a bunch of it? I don't know. Don't care enough to know. The China Beach. Absolutely fantastic name. Fantastic name for a terrible gun. And of course, the Commando becomes the Predator. I just realized that the HUD, like the round count is off the screen. I don't know why that is, but it's gonna throw off my OCD for the rest of this game. I'm sorry to anyone watching this that didn't notice, but now is noticing and is now bothered by it because I don't know why that's happening. Let's use this China Lake just a couple times to say that I used it. We'll do it on an insta kill so it's actually like effective somewhat. All right, let's see how good it is round 22 without the insta kill. Not good, not good. I don't even think I made a crawler. Ah, it's making crawlers. It's at least doing that. Not nearly as good as this crossbow here though. Or any regular gun. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I might be dead. Oh god, oh god. Dude, I had to like train my way to get out of that corner. Except I couldn't see. <laughs> that was so uncomfortable. Two more guns. Ray gun, okay. And HK. Two really good guns. Dude, look at my points. When you're literally one barrier away from getting 10k. That's a pretty looking number right there. All right, give me that Porter's Mark II Ray gun. Yes, sir. And give me, I have no idea what this is called, but just give me it. H115 Oscillator. It seems like whenever they don't know what to make the Pack-A-Bunch names, they just like throw 115 in it, you know? Just throw the zombies number in there. They won't notice. Onwards, we push. Do I even need to talk about the ray gun? I mean, it's the one weapon that's been on every single zombies map ever. Outside of the four chaos maps from Black Ops 4 and uh, Firebase Z from Cold War. But other than that, it's been on every single map. If you've even played zombies for 30 seconds. Okay, maybe more than 30 seconds. 30 minutes. You know what the ray gun is. Absolute classic. It looks and feels better than it actually is. Like, this shit is kind of doo-doo. If we're being honest with ourselves. Uh, dude, I prefer... I, need, I think I need a faster gun. Gun. I'm moving so slow with this gun in my hands. And then obviously this is the HK, another good gun from uh, Black Ops 1. I would consider it to be like top five gun from zombies. Um, it's a little slow. It shoots very slow. It You run really slow with it. It's fine for what it is, but personally, I tend to prefer lighter weight, like SMGs and shit like that. At least assault rifles. I'm not the biggest LMG fan. Even in even in Black Ops 1, not the biggest LMG fan in the world. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go through a round. Go through one more round with, with these weapons. Dude, they just announced Overwatch 2 today, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited for it. Like, I am that person that still plays Overwatch to this day. If you ask me what my favorite game of all time is, I'll say Overwatch without even thinking about it. So, I'm probably gonna go back and start posting more videos on Overwatch on my second channel, just because that's what's fun for me. So if you guys happen to play Overwatch, make sure to uh, just to be ready. You you know, whenever content actually starts coming on that game, I'll probably start posting more on that channel. You know, Maximo. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of excited to, to get past this round and stop using these guns. Stop using the HK particularly. I think I might keep the ray gun even past this. The ray gun, the ray gun, the mobility is just it's just worth it. I don't even care if everything turns into a crawler. Remember the Easter egg you could do by knifing the store in black ops 3 good times i miss exploring the chronicles maps for the first time that was a lot of fun yeah i'm gonna trade the crossbow keep the ray gun okay i'll take that finally i get a teddy bear tired of running all the way over here every time i went the box then let's just do the 74u so that way i literally don't have to run over here anymore never mind the box went straight back to the alley all right c75 or cz75 uh no idea what it becomes calamity what does the dual wheel become when you pack a punch it i don't know everybody knows that this one becomes the ak74 fu2 Send it up. oh that sounds awful Bro, I'm getting to the point where guns are like poop. When guns start getting poop, that's when you know shit's getting real. It's gonna actually start getting tough to get through these rounds. Is the Calamity good? I feel like it's gonna be a hot ass. I'll take a fire sale. Wait a minute, this could actually be nice. Give me some decent. Just trade the Calamity off. One sec- Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Don't want to go down for it. Hey! Give me this. Yes, sir. Now we're talking. Now we're talking with some actual good wonder weapons. Uh, you know, it's 74 FU2. I didn't really get a chance to use you, but you're gone. Sorry I had to do that to a, a pretty good SMG that you could buy off the wall, but it's what I had to do. The opportunity presented itself to get a gun that I haven't got yet. I'm glad I got the Thunder Gun when I did, because honestly, this was going to start getting tough to get through these rounds. Now I can just train with a Thunder Gun. Literally no fear of going down, and then I can just, you know, pull out a, a different gun. 
them get points up very nice why do so many guns have scopes on them in black ops one like i'm only now just like realizing every gun has a stupid ass looking scope that makes me hate myself get out of here crawlers okay is this the end i believe this is the end of the run ray gun it's been fun i've enjoyed using you today oh okay cool I haven't got one duplicate from the box yet. Everything I've got so far has been something that I haven't got yet. What are the chances of that happening? CZ-75 dual wield, infinitely better. Infinitely better than just the CZ-75. Pack a punch these. Calamity and Jane. That's what this becomes. And then let's do the Og. Og what, what is the name of that? Like that's the, oh, Og. It's supposed to be like, so, okay. Ogsome, like awesome. Yeah, okay, I get it. And then I'm not gonna be pack a punching the Thunder Gun because I wanna save the pack a punch for it for when i run out of ammo see i'm pl I'm, I'm using my brain i'm using my brain i'm one smart cookie if you ask me see look how much better those are like come on it puts the single one to shame Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll add. Maybe the unreliability of hip fire is kind of ass. But the AUG pack a punch. Now that's a weapon right here. This is a weapon and a half. And it comes with a built in shotgun. Why? I don't know, but it just does. It's like one of those quirky things about like older Call of Duty is just weird, random, obscure. There's no like uniformity in it. It's just weird and interesting, you know? It's very quirky. No, but really, the AUG is a, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good weapon. One of the better ARs from this game. Oh shoot, I thought it was the end of the round. I started running away. We're not there yet. Oh shit, these rounds are getting long. If I have to, I'll start pack-a-punching like in the middle of the round, but I'd rather not do that if I can prevent it. Two more guns, please. Monkey bombs. That's not pack-a-punchable. That's not one of the 32. Okay, I'll take it. And then, okay, the snipers. Still no duplicates. Still no duplicates. No idea what the Dragunov becomes. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I've ever packed a bunch of it in my life. D-115 disassembler. Okay, cool. Then, I definitely pack a bunch of L-96. It's a, it's a fun gun to use. Not good, but it's fun to use. It is kind of weird that I'm halfway through this challenge and I haven't got one duplicate from the box yet. Like, what is that? Not complaining. I'm, I'm definitely gonna jinx it by talking about it so much, but... Chances of that can't be very high. Oh, I'm done. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the L96 Pack-a-Punch, not one of the better guns to use, but it, it's not gonna lie, it is really fun just kind of running around quick scoping zombie to the head. It's a grand old time. As far as a Dragunov goes, this is not fun or good. This is like the worst of both worlds. Like, what? I look like a dumbass right now. What am I doing with my life? I'm done. I'm so stupid. What gun did I lose? If I lost the Thunder Gun, I'm gonna cry. I was messing around with that stupid dragon up. No, I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. You all have permission to roast the shit out of me in the comments. Not only did I just have a really stupid down, I had a really stupid down with the Thunder Gun in my mule cake spot. But you know what? I have monkeys. Let's see this. Jug. Give me this. Give me the okay. Not gonna buy speed cola this time. I'm actually gonna go for double tap. I hate everything about everything right now. You know what? I need a better point gun than this. I'm gonna be here all day. I'm risking it. I'm risking it all. MPL. Oh, I don't have enough for double tap yet. Give me something. Give me something. This is so risky. Why am I doing this to myself? Uh, Spectre. Sure. Another gun I don't have yet. Okay, I, I can train out of here, right? This is a doable thing. This is doable. One more time around. There we go. I think this is the end of the round anyways. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Just got a whole bunch of crawlers. Why is there so many Nova crawlers? I'm literally gonna be seeing Nova crawlers in my dreams tonight. That's how bad this is. All right, what does the Spectre become? Isn't it the Phantom? I remember it being the Phantom. Yep, Phantom. Oh, why does this look so ugly? Ew, I do not remember this gun looking like an ugly piece of shit. All right, it is a dog round. Let's just use the Phantom. Um. This gun's kind of decent. I don't know, I can't complain too much about it. Okay, I have enough for a double tap and one spin. And around here. Come on. Oh, I already got that. That's my first duplicate. Moving on to round 30 and I just got my first duplicate. I'm probably gonna have to make some ammo trips for MPL ammo this round. Especially now that I have double tap and be running out of ammo so quick. I feel like I'm hella focused now. Like I do not want to go down. I have to use the sniper because it's pretty much the best weapon I have. I'm not messing around with it like I was earlier. No more fun in games. This shit is this shit is intense. This shit is a job. Can order Toten pays my bills. Dude, every time I think the round's ending, it's just not. See, this this is also why I should have saved the M16 for like last. Or like times like these. 
where I'm out of ammo and everything but a shitty sniper. I could have just bought it off the wall and then like kept buying ammo for it. If I ever do this again, I'll have to remember that. Grab ammo. I'm going to grab a gun. It's just not worth the risk, but I don't care. Go monkey. What is that? HK? HK. I need a different gun than this. Get another monkey. Okay. Okay. We're good. Everything is chill. Dude, please give me a new gun. I have one more monkey. One more spin in the box. Throw it. Ballistic knives. Perfect. Um, it's not going to be good for actually finishing this round, but at least I haven't packed a bunch of it yet. At least I can run super quick with it. Something tells me I made a bunch of crawlers with those stupid monkeys. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. I need to go pack a bunch. I think that's my only choice. Um, these ballistic knives are going to be useful to about zero people right now. Most useless possible weapon in solo in zombies. Ballistic knives. Ballistic knives. I'm not sure what it's called when you upgrade ballistic knives. The Kraus Rif Oh, yeah, that rings a bell. And MPL, MPL LF. Cool. We're getting down to it, boys. I'm gonna have to re get the Thunder Gun from the box because I'm a complete dumbass. But we're getting down to the end of this challenge. Yeah, these knives, one of the most interesting weapons ever made in zombies, in my opinion. Big asterisk, though, in co op. <laughs> in solo, pointless, worthless, scummy knives that never benefited anybody. I think it's the end of the round, actually. I'm hoping for a dog round. First time this whole game, I'm hoping next round's a dog round. It's not a dog round, unlucky. At this point, I'm kind of just counting on a max ammo, because all I have to kill zombies is the ammo in this MPL, which is not a lot, and I don't have a backup plan at all. Um, this is, this is literally it. Gun runs out of ammo in two seconds. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go grab the MP40. Let's trade the Phantom because it's kind of useless. And I'm going to just get through this round with just an MP40, not pack a bunch. It's about to be a nightmare. Oh, no. I just got to keep coming back for ammo. One clip doesn't take out a zombie. Oh, fire cell, fire cell, fire cell. The first fire cell I got was how I got the thunder gun. Maybe, maybe it'll happen again. Commando again. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm only going to get two hits. Uh, Og. Uh, I, can't, I can't even get it. It probably would have been useful just to, for the ammo. Okay, my points. I have a lot of points. I think, I, I think I'm going to go pack a bunch mid-round. All right, hit the TP. Uh, Olympia. Because round 31 Olympia is about to be so good. About to be the best gun ever made. Yo, quick message to the Olympia gang. Explain yourself. I would go spin for another mystery box hit, but I don't have monkeys, so I don't feel comfortable doing that. All right, two more guns. Olympia becomes the Hades, of course, and the MP40 becomes the Afterburner. Cool. I'm in the home stretch now. I only need 10 more guns. This MP40 has a decent amount of... Oh, what? where did those zombies come from? Oh, I should run. It has a lot of ammo. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the stakeout. One of my least favorite guns in zombies history. I, I don't think I've ever hated anything more in my... Oh my god. More in my life than the stakeout. The Olympia is actually kind of... Olympia is actually kind of doing shit. Look at this. Okay, never mind. Kind of. It, it takes like four shots with a gun that has two bullets. Better than nothing. The problem now is I've upgraded pretty much every wall gun, except for the stakeout and the PM63. So... From now on, I'm going to have to rely on mystery box RNG to actually give me guns that I need. As sad as I am to say it, I think I might have to go hit the box in the ground. I might have to actually do this. Oh, never mind. I think we're at the end of the round. I think all we got is a bunch of crawlers. Holy shit. Round 31 was the longest round of my life. Having the worst guns in zombies history to try to kill zombies. I would pay money to get the thunder gun right now. I would pay money. Oh my god. Okay, box is here now. That's actually kind of okay. It's not the worst place it could be. FAL, nice. Okay, this is one of the guns I needed. Crossbow, don't need this. G11, don't need this. Spaz. I might have three really bad guns, but at least there are three new guns that I have in backup button. Okay, that becomes the raid. Let's do the FAL. Becomes the epic win. The opposite of a fail. Very clever. Very, very clever. Stake out pack a punch. Is it any good? I mean, it's kill it's killing crawlers, but crawlers, you know, Nova crawlers don't have the most HP in the world. I have one spin. One spin in me here. Oh, okay. Stake out. It's been fun for the two seconds I had you, but I'm moving on to better things. Now this is when shit gets hard. This FAO is straight ass, and my other two guns are not back a bunch. You know, maybe Speed Cola was the better option over Double Tap. Double Tap in this game is not, not all that fun. On some guns, it's worth, 
but I feel like most guns, Speed Cola would be like the better option. Dude, if the Thunder Gun is the very last gun I get, I'm gonna cry. But then again, I did it to myself, you know? Like it's a, it's a self-inflicted wound. It's not bad RNG that I don't have the Thunder Gun right now. It's me being a dumbass is the reason I don't have a Thunder Gun right now. With a little bad RNG in the mix. Oh boy, a Spaz 12 is really gonna be good. On round 32, the Gallo from Cold War. I'm dead. How am I not dead? 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 Oh, shoot. As soon as I get 10k, I'm out of here to pack a punch two more guns. I just need to not go down in the process. This is not killing anything. But I don't know what gun to use. This gun is so ass. Like, this doesn't even feel pack a punch. I hate it so much. Just straight booty, booty, booty. Let's go. Python obviously becomes the Cobra. Like, that's just iconic. That's that's just straight up. Everybody in the world knows that. And then Spaz 12. No idea what that becomes, but who really cares? Who's who, who's pack a punch in the Spaz 12 on the regular? Spaz 24. That's lame as hell. Okay, I just got six more guns left. Holy shit. This has been hours in the making at this point. Oh, dude, honestly, the Spaz, not that bad. Just because it... Just because it reloads all at once, like look at that. Compared to earlier when it was like pumping in one at a time. That's all that matters when you don't have speed cola, honestly. Same with the Cobra, shit reloads all at one time. Actually usable weapon now. Yeah, the Cobra still kill it. Bro, the Python is such a great, oh no. Okay, we're good. Python's such a great Call of Duty gun. It's a type of gun that people just love, despite, you know, statistically, it doesn't have the most DPS in the world. It's a lot of fun. It's very lightweight. It feels good to use. What doesn't feel good to use is the stupid FAL that I still have for some reason. Actually, I know why I have it. It has a bunch of ammo, meaning it can give, it has the potential to give me a lot of points before it runs out. Uh, five more mystery box weapons and the PM63 right there. That is, that's not it. I'm saving to buy that until I'm like really, really out of ammo. Emma. Yes, dude. You have no idea. You have no idea. No idea the relief I just felt. No going down. If I go down and lose this thunder gun again, <laughs> at that point, I just wouldn't deserve to be a, a zombies YouTuber anymore. Oh, holy shit, dude. Spaz is not that bad. It has so much ammo for a shotgun. You could actually take out a horde with a clip. You can't say that about a lot of guns in this game. Like, look at this potential. Woo! I killed like six zombies with that. Pretty good for block ups one standards. In reality, the Thunder Gun's probably the smarter option, but still. Okay, I'm gonna go try to get some guns. I have a lot of points. Kind of don't want to wait till the end of the round. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna throw a monkey. Okay, interesting. Where are we dropping, boys? The original where we're dropping, boys. Okay, theater. Finally, a decent mystery box location. I guess it'd be smart to trade in, get the ray gun back, hold it in my hands for a little bit. Let's see how good the ray gun is on round 34. I don't know, probably probably about a clip to kill one zombie. If I had to guesstimate. Okay, there's only four more guns in this box that I haven't got yet. Uh, that's one of them. Let's go, RPK. RPK, throw it in there. RPK is another one of those LMGs. One of the best guns in this game, but not one of my personal favorites. I'm pack and punching the Thunder Gun now, by the way. Like, I, I could not live with myself if I went down again and lost it. Which leaves us with literally four guns left. Three mystery box guns and the PM63. Bye, Mr. Teddy. I'm kind of glad I got this ray gun back. Sure, the ray gun might be complete ass compared to other wonder weapons in zombies history, but compared to the other guns of this game and of this map, I'll take this any day of the week. I'm dead. Dude, why did I do that? No, please, not like this. Not like this, please. Throwing a th I lost my thunder gun again. At least I pack a bunch of it. I'm making this so much harder on myself than it needs to be. Why am I playing so stupid? Drag. Why am I playing so stupid? Quick. This is not that hard of a challenge. I should not be having two downs on Keynote or Toten. The only way you go down is if you if you have like a mental lapse, you know, if you're like half paying attention for a second, and that's how both of my deaths are. Um, at least my two guns that I do have are pretty good. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh, me versus the world. My guns are against me. There's so many crawlers. Double points, yes. Not a friggin' ammo. All I have is this big, slow LMG. Big, slow, worthless LMG. The hipfire on this is the least accurate thing I've ever seen in my life. But ADSing, I move so slow. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. I'm out of ammo. Let's grab me okay. Back to speed cola. Ba back to my, my first instinct this game was to buy speed cola. I think it was the right instinct. 
I'm dead. I'm gonna cry. I can clutch this. I can clutch this. Don't worry. I will not surrender this close to the end. I'm, I've come too far for this. There's a nuke. I don't want that. As long as this round is, actually ending the round doesn't help me in any way. I just need the points to be able to spin the box enough to be able to pack a punch four times. It's all I need. Points. Every time I go down, it's a very, very annoying reset. I'm kind of doing this jump move. Because while I'm jumping, obviously, I have more mobility. So it kind of, like, lets me put more bullets into zombies than I otherwise would be able to. I'm out of ammo completely. The only way to fix a lack of ammo is the Pack-A-Punch. PM-63, the most forgettable wall weapon in Black Ops 1. Every other wall weapon is super memorable. Oh, except for this. And apparently it becomes a Kimbo when you pack a bunch of- I didn't even know that. The Tokyo in rows. If you put a gun to my head and ask me to tell you what the PM63 is when, when it becomes pack a punch, like what it's called, I literally would have never- would have never been able to tell you. Going for a spin. If I- if I had more monkeys, this would be- the game loves me. The game loves me. The game wants to see me win. This today has been an emotional roller coaster. Ups and downs. Oh my god. I felt completely hopeless at times here. But honestly, I feel like I'm gonna do it now. I just I, literally three more guns. This, this challenge is easy. Just literally train the stage, build points, pack a punch weapons. It's that easy. Oh, why I'm struggling so much to live. Oh my god. Oh my god. There, there's a FAMAS, FAMAS, FAMAS. Bro, the game wants to see me win. Um, I should probably use this famas ammo to get points oh it's the end of the round i didn't realize that well there's no more quick revive machine which means this whole game i've been struggling to make the decision between double tap and speed cola but obviously now i don't even have to do that use both at the same time i'll get mule kick later okay dude three more guns this is one of them the other two are going to be the m72 law which dude th that shit is rare as hell for some reason and then the hs10 which i also just haven't seen this game two pretty random weapons it's the one problem of having the thunder gun as your only gun with ammo is that killing an entire horde gives me what like 300 points at most shit is not very point efficient whatsoever uh, i need a pack a punch famas let's go becomes the g16 glee or however you say that little cute little smiley face we love to see it love to see it but honestly i have more important things to focus on like not dying okay, i gotta make this i gotta make this famas ammo count need to try to like line them up as much as possible oh not very good come here boys it's gonna be the end of it Okay, I'm out of ammo. I, I do have enough money to pack a punch the thunder gun again. Did I really want to do that? Am I am I down that bad? Sadly, I think I am. I'm completely out. I just couldn't get enough of the pack a punch machine in this video. I had to I had to pack a punch one of the guns twice. Round 37. Two more guns, boys. Two more guns. Come on. Please? Okay. At least I get my money back. Yes, I'm that desperate for 950. And oh yeah, I did just waste. 5k to pack a punch of thunder gun again even though it was about to be a hellhound round but whoops can't win them all boys so many points so many mystery box spins oh that'll give me some mystery box spins okay no i don't want to trade this gun um but i probably should just trade the gun what i get i think it's a galil fine i guess it'll give me some points i'm that low of a human being where i don't even look at the weapon for being a weapon i just look at it for how many points it can give me capitalism at its finest oh shoot come on it has a lot of ammo so many of the guns in this game have like a ridiculously low amount of ammo for some reason but the galil just chock full but that got my points up right quick come on two i just need two one of two guns one of two guns oh my god oh my god come on come on come on come on Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. Holy shit, you run slow with this. Is this pack? Oh, it's not linked. Oh no, boom. The M72 Law, probably the worst gun in this game. Maybe that's a being a little harsh. Wait, come on, pull out. Dude, pull out the right gun. There we go. All right, is it good pack-a-punch? Can I kill zombies with it? Um, I, I, a bunch of smoke? We got crawlers. If you're all about the make crawlers and a bunch of smoke life, then it's the best gun in the game. Okay, now literally one gun separates me from finishing this challenge. One gun, and it's a shitty shotgun. The HS-10. The final raid boss. The final raid boss of the mystery box. Oh. Wait, where's the box? Oh, it's right here. This is gonna be the lucky spin. Something feels really good about this next mystery box spin. Never mind. Oh, 
Dude, I just picked it up without even thinking. Oh my god, that's it. That's it. Oh my god, we did it. We gotta go link to TP. Final time I had to link that shit. Oh my god, it has been like, I don't know, like three hours of recording. I can't see the timer because I have, I literally have the spreadsheet blocking my recording. But we got it. We got the Typhoid and Mary, Weird Akimbo HS10. Can I kill the zombie from here? That was a rhetorical question. Obviously, I can't. But I can look funny, try. I might have had three downs in the process, but it's okay. This has been an insane journey. Thank you guys for watching.